Hello everyone out there in Mr. Arnold's grade 12 university level law class CLN for you. It is snow day today. We are looking at copyright, specifically how that has to do with rule of law. So let's take a look at the essential question for today. Does the Canadian legal system meet the expectations of the rule of law at home and abroad. So the legal significance we are referring to today is public law, specifically copyright, and we're going to look at a tool that you can use for your upcoming projects, Creative Commons and Creative Commons licensing. Alrighty. So first thing I'd like you to do today is open your CLN for you notes and I would like you to copy the essential question above into your notes and also add the legal significance piece. So go ahead and do that now. And remember at any time during the video you can pause the video and do what you need to do and then start the video again. So once you've done that we'll check that off the list. The next piece is that you will have to know the difference between public and private law because we are specifically referring to public and private law in this case together. So public law being the relationship between what the government sets down as far as copyright goes and your responsibilities as citizens to follow that but private law as well in the fact that we're going to look at litigation in this unit two before the end of the week and then we're going to play Susumi on the final day. So if you click on this link, go private law versus public law, there it is. It is a one minute and 32 second video. Please watch that specifically if you go through there are certain parts in public and private law here that you can skip to say 24 seconds in the video here and you can see the definitions of public law which is a review of what we've done before and then at 54 seconds it has the definition of private law here plus some examples of that. One piece to note, torts are also known as wrongs. That could be in the case of negligence. So you'll want to have this information in your notes now. So the definition of private law with examples and the definition of public law with examples as well. So you can take the time, pause the video, and add those definitions and examples now. Okay, super duper. I'm now going to close that and I can check that off the list now as well. Next, I would like you to read through, you can do a skim and scan of what copyright is. There's a short video that you can watch about what copyright is here. And you can add the following definition to your notes. Here. So you can take the time and do that now. All right. You can see at the top here, there's been an amendment to the Copyright Act, and that's what we're going to look at next. So you've now added a definition of what copyright is. I will close that tab. And we're going to look at the substantive law, which is the Copyright Act. And the instructions specifically ask you to do a control F search for the following term. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And you can see here that you specifically have to add to your notes the definitions from section two under the highlighted term that I have here. Copyright means the rights described in. So if I have the Copyright Act open, then I can do a control F search. 
which I know is not on this first page, but we can go into the section two. We can do the search again. And you can see here where it says copyright means. So I'm going to take that entire section and I'm going to put copyright means into my notes. So this is under section two. And what I did was I took the exact wording from the agenda and I searched for that in section two of the Copyright Act. So you can go ahead and do that now. All right, super duper. If you missed any part of this, or you're feeling like you're behind, remember you can go back in the video and you can watch that part again. The next video you can watch is Wanna Work Together. So it's a bit dated, but it gives you an idea of what the role of Creative Commons is, that organization specifically. And what's most interesting to me about Creative Commons and the licenses that you can look at under there and the works that people post is that it was created entirely as an open source organization and an organization that was created by people because there was no way of governing this when the internet was first created. So a community got together and created what's called the Creative Commons where they could share and remix and so on. So check that video out. See what the role of Creative Commons is. We're going to use a tool called the License Chooser, and this License Chooser will help you when you create your video for the culminating activity and walk you through what you want to do with your video. But what might be of the most use to you is this, the CC Search Portal. So if you are looking for music or you're looking for images for your project, you can look in here. And you can also do a Creative Commons search directly in a Google browser. But since I'm using DuckDuckGo, this looks a little different. So I just look for Google Images. And if I go into Images itself, directly in Images, under Tools, there's a spot that says Usage Rights. So if you want to find an image specifically, go into Usage Rights and click under Creative Commons Licenses. So this means that you may be able to use the licensable images, but you still have to attribute them. You still have to put them in a bibliography. All right, folks, thanks so much for listening and watching the video today. Remember this video, you will have to watch it to be able to be successful in tomorrow's class. Hope you had a great snow day, and I will talk to you all very soon.